We all know that John the Baptist was a unique individual and was a person who was always pointing people to the Messiah that was coming. So setting the context before this scripture, John had just baptized Jesus the day before and announced him as a chosen one of God, the Messiah. So we pick up the next day. In John 1, 35 and 40, it says, the following day, John was again standing with two of his disciples. As Jesus walked by, John was looking at him and declared, look, there is the Lamb of God. When John's two disciples heard this, they followed Jesus. Jesus looked around and saw them following. What do you want? He asked them. They replied, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come and see, he said. And it was about four o'clock in the afternoon when they went with him to the place where he was staying. And they remained with him the rest of the day. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of these men who heard what John said and then followed Jesus. So I want you to notice one thing more than any other. John always pointed people to Jesus. It says here he had two disciples. One we know is Andrew and the other many believe to be John the gospel writer himself. But here's the thing, when the two disciples were told this is the Lamb of God, they followed Jesus. John the Baptist had been discipling these men to know and recognize who Jesus was. It was never about John or his ministry. He always pointed people to Jesus. My first question is, are you discipling people? The Bible says we are to go and make disciples. Second, are we always pointing people to Jesus? You see, Jesus is the only one that can completely change a life from the inside out. Our end goal should be to always point people to Jesus in every aspect of our lives. I tell my students all the time that you are the only Bible some people may ever read. Are you being a good interpretation of that? Is your life pointing others to Jesus? Today, take a moment and ask yourself, does your life point people to who you are and what you can do? Or does it always point to the Messiah that can take away all the sin and shame in their life? Let your life be one, a reflection of Jesus.